Welcome to Friday Vlogs. Here with my puppy. Peggy, say hi to everyone on Friday Vlogs. I guess she doesn't want to say hi to anyone. What about this puppy? Hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> the thousands of viewers. So how do you feel after one week of being vegan? I feel fine. <laughs> no, seriously. If I told you last month that you were going to be vegan for this month, you would be like, no fudging way would I be. So, mm. let's get some honest opinions. Because, to be honest, I could just care less about meat. But could I could care less. I could care less about meat. That's one thing we need I to love cheese. Why do Americans say, I could care less? That means you care. It's couldn't care less. I couldn't care less. I don't, but yeah. Americans say could care less, which I is could. stupid for all you Americans watching. You need to learn how to talk properly. Okay. I'm so training this one. She'll, uh, she'll get it eventually. So I couldn't care less. I could care less. I couldn't. You couldn't. Yeah, I know. It just sounds... If you could care less, that means you care. Okay, I couldn't care less about meat. There we go. But I love cheese. Doesn't it actually look like fall here? It's actually fall, which is weird. I don't know why I didn't think it was going to get cold here. Cold, though? Okay. Yeah, okay, it's not cold, but That's it's fun. like, it kind of feels like fall, I think, which is cool because I thought Australia was just like summer all the time. True life. True life? True life. What does that mean? You've never seen that show? There used to be a show on MTV. It was like, True Life. I eat socks. It was just like weird. People that were like weird. Oh. I don't really know how to explain it. It makes sense though. Me and Gia went through a phase like probably for a whole year where we we're just like, True Life. Blah, blah, blah. Everything we said was True Life. How's your... Soy lot. Good? This is such a good picture. It's like the perfect day because it's sunny but cloudy but warm but cold if you know what I mean does anyone know what I mean you know those days it just looks amazing beachfront St. Kilda with all the crackheads dang crackheads um. Animals are my friends and I don't eat my friends. Amazing, eight days ago Becca was munching on a good Nando's and now she's saving the world. How times change. Mikey's favorite shop. take Peggy out for a walk really quick and then get back down to the city for a soccer game. Woo! Peggy, what's this? Oh, what do I have? 
What do I have, Peggy? Okay, we're back to the run. Jeez, I'm out of breath. Peggy? Go on. Go on. <laughs> they said that to you. Yeah. <laughs> Doing your duty. So yeah, probably should, eh? Were they Aussie or? Yeah. Put it in there. Excited? Buzzing. Buzzing.com. Oh no, are we gonna make it? Uh, Just wait it out. Okay, we're going. For the last game of the regular season. Oh, last time to get up. That's why. It's gonna go top right. Live with Michael Cunningham. Yeah, I thought we really just like dominate possession, especially in the first half. But when we got a chance, you know, it's like trying to eat Sunday dinner after a hangover. It's just not going down. Hey, credit to the boys. They played till the end. But uh, on the day out, they were just more clinical. What can I say? They probably should have had four, four goals. So they let us off easy. Hello, hello, hello. Nice lighting, though. Yeah. Shout out to your mains. Anyone you want to say hi to? Back Je home? Jesus, no other thousands of dedicated Becca Cunningham subscribers. I just want to say thanks, to, thanks for tuning in every week. We're, thanks, all 12 of you. This is the only reason we do this, you know, we love you guys. Crazy. Well, it seems like yesterday we were at zero subscribers and now we're at 12. It's like start from, the, bo start from the bottom. Now we're, we're here with 12 subscribers. Who would have thought we'd be talking out to 12 people? Next milestone, 15. Crazy. Tell your friends. We're trying to hit 15. Once we hit 15, we're probably going to do a giveaway nah, or something. Uh, I mean, it's a big dream, but I think we can get there <laughs> if we just stay passionate and really enthusiastic about it. Big ambitions. Work like us and you can get here too, guys. It's okay. What are the three steps to getting to Melbourne? <laughs> Love what you do. Love where you are, love who you're with. Just give me kisses. For free. That's what happens when you got 12 subscribers. <laughs> Get all them honeys. Oh hi, sorry, I was just getting some noir dwight dwight towel. These rows. All the mochi in the world. We love, we love. We can't read anything it says. Matcha except, Kit Kats. Except Kit Kat, we can read that. Matcha Kit Kats. Are those like um, Rice Krispies? Because they look like it. They don't have my banana chips anymore. Sad life. I think they had these in Rochester. In Wegmans, these ones. Green tea mochi. Might have to get these. This mochi. Mango. Mango. Oh yeah, let's stuff get mango. City is popping tonight. Oh yeah. We've got yeah, some nice know. horses. Horse and carriages if you want to go around on one of those. Flashy. We got our nice Eiffel Tower over there. That's not really an Eiffel Tower. And the famous Linder's train station. So Michael, what did we get here today from our favorite shop? Jingua. Sweet potato candy. Sweet potato candy. We're about to try sweet potato candy. Who would have thought? Vegetable becomes dessert. <laughs> oh god, here comes. Now if that doesn't look appetizing, Oh gosh. I don't know what does. Careful, this guy's uh, gonna come. Fuck off. Try it. I told him not to get this one, but he really wanted to. Does it taste like a sweet potato? And you know something's good. You just know. Sweet 
solid. Solid like gummy texture. Yeah. It's basically just like a sweet potato flavored gummy. Delicious. Pretty good. Can't go wrong. I hope it's actually sweet potato though. But not just like sugar flavored as sweet potato. Sweet potato is just the first ingredient on the list. Next we have your classic mochi. Taiwan Desert. Oh, sweet. Look at those mochi babies. They have their own personal... Special. Oh, just kidding. Oh. <laughs> Go for it, man. Oh, he just went for the whole thing. Thoughts? Opinions? Oh, wow. Give I got like one. a gooey center. I love the gooey centered. That's it, actually amazing. It's like Gushers, but mochi. That's a, unreal. It's actually a solid snack. Weird. Probably looks really gross on camera, but... Tastes like amazing wow. mango flavored mochi. I might just get through the whole box. Stream rice cake. Stream? That's what it says. Stream. Oh, I thought this whole time it said steamed rice cake. Maybe it's supposed know? to. But yeah, let's try the green one. I was definitely going to go for that one too. It's quite a cakey texture. Yes, but no eggs in it, which is weird. Glutinous rice, whatever that is. Oh. It's not really like as cakey as I thought it was going to be. Pretty good, but... It tastes like dried... Kind of take tastes like the um, custard buns without any custard. It's yeah, it tastes like a dried bao bun, but sweet. Now that now that I think about it like that, it I, I actually like it. It's all about perception. Next up, we have this. <laughs> this one. Easy to pronounce, to be fair. I, th I picked this one out. I thought it looked really good. And I was really after something like cakey. I don't know why, but it's hard to find cakey things that don't have eggs in it. So this was like one of the only ones, but it, and it has two flavors, so That's we gotta a, try both of them. It's always a plus when they're individually wrapped. Yeah. So it looks like it looks very kind of like a uh, I don't know classic American um, donut egg donut hole. I don't know. Eat half of it because I need to try this flavor. It smells great. Have a sniff of that. It smells kind of like a Fig Newton. It's got that texture too. That's good. That's really good. I picked a winner. It's a fantastic texture. Yeah. So that was the yellow one. Now we're going to try That's the... That's weird. It does taste like Now we're going to try the purple one. It tastes like a Fig Newton. Yeah. Kind of. So that was the yellow one. There's another flavor to try. It's purple. It's almost like, almost coffee, coffee like. Still delicious. It's coffee. I don't know if it, I would say it's coffee though. Well, I would. So. There we go. Difference of Good. opinions. It's not against the law. Say it in, I guess mango juice is three words. That's not, I don't think those are words. Those are just like. I'm pretty certain each one is a word. Ah, that's crazy. It's literally the craziest language. Once it's open, there's no going back. Yeah, we're going to chug it. Ooh, it's got a little fizzer to it. I can already smell it. There's definitely mangoes in that. Oh yeah, street nectar. Just like we had in the plane. A bit more watery though. Mad good. The perfect end to all those treats. We picked winners. Like I thought some of the things we picked up were kind of sketchy, but they're actually all mad good. Yeah, it's pretty much just uh So we're gonna eat them all now. Yeah, see, simply. <laughs> You are drunk.
Is uh, that correct? I, I suppose so, yeah. What do you, what would you say? Am I drunk? No! Oh. Man, how would you engage upon someone? I don't know what that means. What do you mean? You don't mean... Engage upon someone? Someone is engaging upon you. How would you reject that person? All you would have to say is... You're drunk. You are drunk. You're drunk. So you're drunk. Just tell me you're drunk. <laughs> you're drunk? I am not drunk. Okay, good. No. Oh, it's for start. It's just fine. Yeah, we... The, uh, yeah, it's going oh. on there. Uh, Enjoy. No problem. Oh, that was fun. Because we're rocking. Good save, guys. Good save. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Sophisticated conversation. <laughs> well, that was super interesting. Mike, yes, put a shirt on. Yeah, so, drunk guy on the train just wanted to talk to us or something. Actually, we heard him earlier. He was on the train yelling at some other guy, and then I saw him take a cheeky little swig out of his water bottle that definitely did not have water in it, and then he stuck it back in his coat pocket. So I was like, uh, this guy's drunk. And then he came into our carriage and just probably saw us, and I kind of maybe made eye contact with him, so it's my bad. But yeah, so then he just went off on us. And then we got off the train and there was some like police guys like waiting as soon as we like they were like checking inside each of the train car windows and just like kind of jokingly I was like in that carriage and they were like, Oh my gosh and they like ran over and so like it was a real thing. I don't know, so maybe someone like called the police on him. Because he was a bit another gonna sleep now soon, so yeah, that's the end of our vlog. Mikey, you have anything to say? See ya.